Susan Sue Barker, MBE is an English television presenter and former professional tennis player. During her tennis career, she won 11 WTA Tour singles titles, including one Grand Slam singles title at the 1976 French Open. She reached a career-high singles ranking of world number three. She is now one of the main sports presenters at the BBC. Tennis career Barker's tennis career began in 1973 and she won her first top-level singles title in 1974. She won three additional titles in 1975. Barker reached her first Grand Slam semi-final in 1975 at the Australian Open. She won the German Open in 1976, beating Rina Tartomanova of Czechoslovakia in the final 6 a Euro 3, 6 a Euro 1. Later in 1976, Barker had the biggest victory of her career by winning the French Open at the age of 20, again defeating Tomanova in the final. Barker's toughest game en route to the final in Paris was her quarter-final match against Regina Mara equal or more than Corva, when Barker came back from a set down and won a grueling final set 8 Euro 6. After her French Open victory against Tomanova, Barker felt that it would be the first of a number of Grand Slam titles that she would win, but she would not reach another Grand Slam final in her career. In 1977, Barker won two singles titles in San Francisco and Dallas. She beat Martina Navratilova to reach the Virginia Slims Tour Championships final, where she lost in three sets to Chris Avert. Barker reached the Australian Open semi-final for the second time in 1977 and also reached the Wimbledon semi-final that year. She looked set to meet Virginia Wade in the Wimbledon final in 1977 but unexpectedly lost her semi-final against Betty Station Paragraph A of the Netherlands, which denied her the opportunity of playing against Wade in an all-British final. Years later, Barker said that losing to star Paragraph A was the biggest disappointment of her career and admitted that she was so upset at losing in the 1977 Wimbledon semi-final that she could not bear to watch the final, which was won by Wade. After an injury plagued 1978 during which her ranking dropped to world number 24, she won three singles titles and reached three other finals in 1979. She was named the Tour's Comeback Player of the Year by her fellow professionals. Barker reached one final in 1980 and won the last singles title of her career at the Brighton International in 1981, finishing the year ranked world number 16. She won her last doubles title in 1982 at Cincinnati, and played her last professional match in 1984. In all, Barker won 11 singles titles and 12 doubles titles, posting wins over Avert, Navratilova, Billie Jean King, Yvonne Julegon Corley, Tracy Austin, Virginia Wade, Maria Bueno, Rosemary Castles, Andrea Yeager and Pam Shriver. Barker's forehand was her strongest weapon with her coach Arthur Roberts describing it as especially potent. Roberts was a notoriously severe character who very rarely praised Barker. Everyone was terrified of him, she later said. When she left England to play in tournaments on the continent, Roberts handed her a one-way ticket only, insisting that she had to earn the fair home. In 2004, recalling her French Open win of 1976, Barker said, I'm still incredibly proud of what I achieved. Major finals, Grand Slam finals, singles, one, year end championships finals, singles, one, doubles, one, WTA Tour finals, singles, 26, doubles, 30, Grand Slam singles tournament timeline, A equals did not participate in the tournament. SR equals the ratio of the number of Grand Slam singles tournaments won to the number of those tournaments played. Note. The Australian Open was held twice in 1977, in January and December. Broadcasting career, upon retiring from tennis Barker became a commentator and sports reporter for Australia's Channel 7 in 1985 before going on to anchor tennis coverage for British Sky Broadcasting in 1990. In 1993, Barker joined the Wimbledon coverage on the BBC and now anchors the two-week-long broadcast for the network. Barker has branched out since joining the BBC, becoming one of their chief sports presenters and she is currently the presenter of the sports quiz show A Question of Sport. Barker has hosted BBC Sports coverage of the Australian Open, the French Open, 
Queen's Club Championships, Eastbourne, and Wimbledon. Other sporting events she has hosted have included the Grand National, the Derby, Racing at Ascot and Longchamp, Hennessy Gold Cup at Newbury, the Great North Run, World Athletics Championships and European Athletics Championships, BBC Sports Personality of the Year, Commonwealth Games and Winter Olympics. In June 1999, she co-presented coverage of HRH Prince Edward's wedding to Sophie Rees-Jones at Windsor alongside Michael Burke. Barker had introduced Rhys Jones to Queen Elizabeth II's youngest son at a charity function a few years earlier. In 2008, Barker and the BBC extended her contract to cover the London 2012 Olympic Games. It is estimated to be worth a £375,000 a year. In 2014, she was one of the main presenters of the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics Games. Personal life, in 1978, Barker broke off an engagement with Australian tennis player Sid Ball. In an interview the following year, she said, I realized that Sid wasn't the answer. Underneath, I wasn't happy and I certainly wasn't ready for marriage. I wasn't fair to him or myself. After her engagement was broken off, she had a brief relationship with another Australian, golfer Greg Norman. In 1982, Barker met singer Cliff Richard. Their romance attracted considerable media attention after Richard flew to Denmark to watch her play in a tennis match and they were later photographed cuddling and holding hands at Wimbledon. Richard said in 2008 that he had come close to asking her to marry him. He said, I seriously contemplated asking her to marry me, but in the end I realized that I didn't love her quite enough to commit the rest of my life to her. In 1986, after Barker's romance with Richard had ended and she began a brief relationship with tennis player Stephen Shaw, Richard said that he was still a friend of Barker. He said, We have a mutual respect for each other and that means a lot to me. In 1988, Richard said of his former romance with Barker, We were closer than just friends. She's the only person with whom I've had that sort of relationship. He said that one of the things which made up his mind not to marry her was when she got upset because he hadn't told her who he was seeing that day. Rish had said, I suddenly realized that in a marriage you don't live for yourself. In 1988, Barker married former policeman Lance Tankard. They live in a mansion on a 26-acre estate in Surrey. The couple owns several Rottweilers. In 1980, Barker was temporarily blinded in her right eye after a large dog in Spain jumped up and bit her. She lost the sight in her eye for five hours and feared that the dog attack would force her to stop playing tennis, which she said broke her heart. In an interview in 1999, Barker said that during her tennis career she was approached by a lesbian tennis player in the locker room and touched in a way that didn't feel right. Barker refused to name the female tennis player involved. In July 2012, the Advertising Standards Authority in the UK received over 40 complaints for a Go Compare advert that Barker starred in when she was featured firing a large rocket launcher at opera singer Gio Comperio in an attempt to kill off the face of the brand. A spokesperson for the ASA said, Some people think it offensive especially at a time when children are watching. Others think it inappropriate when our security forces are coming under fire on a daily basis. As with all complaints, we are looking into the matter before deciding if we launch a full investigation. See also, performance timelines for all female tennis players who reached at least one Grand Slam final, notes and references. External links, Sue Barker at the Women's Tennis Association, Sue Barker at the International Tennis Federation, Sue Barker at the Fed Cup, Sue Barker at the Internet Movie Database.